Hello everybody. We're back the next day. Everyone's rested. We're feeling pretty lazy, but we're going to do our pop-in video now before we get more stuff out. So I just want to, this one is mainly, I wanted to point out the difference between a type E and a type F cab and to kind of point out the difference in condition from a cab that was sold more cheaply to a cab that was, you know, a little more expensive, more around the normal price. So I want to say this poppin was around $27.50. This one, no, this was, I think it was $22.50 or so. This one was more around like the $32.50 range. So it's about a $750 to $1,000 price difference depending on, you know, how things were. At, but um, specifically those prices were based on what we paid for the cab. So, uh, I want to look over these and look at the condition differences, the mo you know, the modern condition differences, all that other stuff. But uh, first thing, before we go any farther, uh, again, as I mentioned, this one's a Type E and this one's a Type F. So this one would have been what came out with Sunny Park. And this one, I'm actually not sure when they started doing the Type F, if it was like a Clail or somewhere, somewhere after, after that maybe lapis or eclail or something like that uh, was the type f so these are a little bit newer but if you look at them initially there's really no difference um but the one thing that you can notice from the outside without looking at the tag on the back is that the type e has a hinged door here and you can see it's actually a metal door and you see there's there's two screws there that you could screw it in on top of the uh, lock this one has a wood door and it's screwed in there's no hinge so that's the that's the things you can notice from the front um and then also while we're at it and since i've got a bunch of them in the warehouse i'll point it out if you come around here you'll see uh there's this blue label here for type e and the pink label here for type f so all the cabs after type a it might be after type a or type b have this label. So I actually have almost all the types of the cab of cabs in the warehouse right now. I'll just point out real quick. Uh, this blue one over here is a type D and this would be the last model of the CRT cab. So this one's a blue one. This was from pop and movie. Um, so it's just, you know, this blue color and, uh, over here we've got a type C you probably won't be able to see it. It's tucked back and stuff that's going out over here. Um, but you can see in the corner there, the tag type C, that's one of the blue cabs, the, the light blues that was popping nine. So that was everything from, I think nine to 14 and then 15 to 18 was the type D. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, the type B would be the Animello. There's one, I don't know if it's still back there or where it is. There's a, there's an Animello one in the warehouse somewhere. And then type A was the yellow cabs before that or they, they might have been i think they might have been flip-flopped based on when they started the naming i don't remember exactly but those are the type a's and b's anyway our main focus for now is to look at these cabs so i'm going to pull them out i'm going to open up the backs and we're going to hook them both up and we'll kind of get a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of these cabs have to get the access to the power supply is in the back. You can't just plug it in from the back as Konami seems to like to do lately. I think it's it's better from an operator standpoint maybe, but it's also just a added protection against tampering. Okay. Now, if I remember right, the internals should be about the same. Um, and actually, it looks like they are. So I guess another thing we'll point out right away then is here's the back door for the Type E. And here's the back door for the Type F, which has different back grill there. And uh, 
I'm looking at this, there's a loose connector in here. It looks like it's probably, oh, it's been completely disconnected here. I'm going to hook this back up. I don't know why that's, oh, this is too. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to leave this. It looks like they bypassed this or something on this one. It might have been modded. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to assume that it should be fine the way it is. Everything else besides the power supplies look to be about the same. The PCB, interestingly, this one has a bigger fan on it. That one does not. They actually look to be different PCBs. I wonder if the motherboard is the same, but we'll get inside and we'll take a look at it. That's interesting. Um, okay, well, anyway, let's pull out the power cables on these. We'll get them hooked up, and uh, hopefully we can at least get into oh, the power. Where's the power cable on this one? It isn't even plugged in. Well, good, because we've got this here. So the power cable for this one's probably in the front. That, and we got this one. Okay, they're both on here. Come around front, grab the keys, and turn them on from the front. This one is an N5003. I don't know if that's standard for newer poppins. I, I haven't bothered to keep track of what standard is for the new cabs. But. Oh, interesting. And also the lock is set to turn the wrong way. But that is what it is. That one. Let's see if this one's N5003 as well. It is not. So we'll pull the lock or the key on this one too. Oh, this one's just N5000. So this is normally what I expect on the pop. And so let's take a look at this monitor first. Like you can see, it's uh, well, I don't th I don't think you'll notice it until later. But it is the, the the part of the reason why this cab was cheaper is the monitor is a little bit dimmer. Um, and we bought it knowing that. But let's fire up this one, and hopefully you'll see kind of a side by side comparison of that. We're also going to open up the bottom here. We're going to check the coin counter on them if we could. So that one is, what does that say? 13,884. And we'll open up this one. And this one is. Yeah, see, there's the power cable. Um, 47,776. So, quite a significant difference in play count on those. Tighten the screw up here real quick. And while those are booting up, let's open up the fronts. All right, so first, of course, you know, hinge door is pretty convenient. I think they probably took it off on the other one as a slight cost-saving measure or something like that. So here we've got the front of the PCB. It actually looks to be the same as the old-style PCB, which is interesting. So there's that. You've got, I'm not sure, but I don't think, yeah, because this is a Type E, so mine at home is a Type F. So I haven't really seen this. This might actually be different. I'll ask about that later. But come over here and open up the Type F. Let's take a look inside. 
Well, first off, this one has side pops, so there's that. But also, it is using a different PCB. And now that I look about it, let look at it. That's a that's a pretty common one. So if I ever need to replace it, that should be easy. But definitely different motherboard, different PCB. That's really interesting because I didn't really realize that that they were different. So I don't know if it'll let me actually get into the test menu from here. Probably not, actually. So we won't go any farther, but um, I'll flip these off and on again. Hopefully you'll, you'll be able to tell from the boot screen, you know, the difference in the monitor. Let's look over the condition real quick while we're doing this. Um, just honestly, probably the buttons are fine. These, these tabs are still pretty new. So yeah, they're all about the same. They feel clean and whatnot, but like little things. I noticed one of them yeah, like this cab has some some tearing on the art there. It's not that big a deal. Honestly, condition-wise, both of them are looking pretty solid. And I'm not too worried about it. But um, no, it was interesting to see that the backs, that the insides and the backs were different. But yeah, other than that, they honestly look about the same conditionally. This one, the the fan, and this is really loud but it just got less less use or whatever so anyway let's let's try and see if we can actually see the difference in the monitor probably not from here so i'm just gonna flip it off and on real quick put the key and you'll see on boot I, I think that might have really been the only thing that stood out to them when they priced these cabs to us but it looks like both of them at least work uh the other thing to notice is that the the, or no, is the type f monitor is better from what I've been told. So, I mean, it's just an improvement in terms of the monitor itself. But let's take a look at these when they come up. You may want to cut the plastic the monitor. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, we'll see. Oh, this one actually, well, since this is the older, there, well, you can kind of tell. It's actually not that significantly different, it's but really yeah, it is. And, it, and then this it's one's dark. okay. Oh no, yeah, I can see it now. But um, is it a difference in the blue? yeah, if you if you look out there, you can kind of see the difference in the blue. So, to be honest, again, like if I were looking for something on a budget, now that I think about it, I'd probably go for the cheaper cab. I mean, the the cost was significantly different for this. Uh, but I think part of it is also just like the cost of getting a replacement monitor is about seven to eight hundred dollars. So I have in the past when I got my HD cab, I originally wasn't going to replace the monitor. Then I opted to I'll just replace it. And then nobody wanted to pay the price, but we got a brand new monitor. It looks great. And I'm pretty sure anybody that would have seen them would regret not picking it up when I had them but um any rate I guess that's so that's these two cabs that's whatever I can tell of the differences of that right now um and honestly the LED lights are actually uh, quite a bit the newer one. well these I I want to say that's probably just dust I, yeah, I did notice that too like this one's obviously much brighter but that I think that's just dirt because and I noticed it even in the, the speaker grills are a little bit dirty. They didn't clear out that space. So anyway, that's the Type B, Type F HD Poppins. We um, can't really get any farther with it right now, but I just wanted to kind of show off the differences in the cabs. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We'll be back with some more videos that we're recording tonight. I'm sure I'll be putting them up over the next couple weeks. But uh yeah, we'll see you next time.